Hey, welcome back to this, uh, what was the name of this? Luigi's Misadventures 1 Tsunamids Factor. In this episode, we are going to try to finish off World 3. City Athletics. It has a secret exit. I always like athletics, but I'm not a huge fan of, uh, auto-scroll. Auto-scroll's a little bit scary. Is this going to fall? Yeah, it is. So that's why I have to do a quick jump. Utter fantasticness we have here. Hello there, turtle. Hello there, other turtle and other turtle. I will destroy you. I suppose I'll let him live. I gain nothing by killing that one. So I'll go ahead and, uh... Well, I suppose I gain some points, but at the same time. Are they really all that valuable? I'm gonna have to pause to take sips of coffee in this level. Um, alright. Hello there, Volcano Lotus. Just gonna avoid you, if you don't mind. And you just do your little jumping thing. You just do your exercises there, Charlie. That is great. Now, where is where would a secret exit be in this level? We haven't seen any pipes. Does what? Does one of these uh, blocks hold a uh, vine or something I can use to climb? Probably not, because we're using auto scroll. Um, so I'm not going to. Uh, Assume that that's what the secret exit is. Um, but I can only imagine that it would be in a pipe or something. But I haven't seen any pipes. Hello there, Charlie. I'm just gonna go ahead and like do a bad job of jumping on your head. Because that's just how I like to do things. Um, well, we do have these yellow blocks. I don't know if they mean anything, though. Also not sure why I was leaving the Sumo Brothers alive. If they are killable, then death to everything. Don't you agree, Luigi? That's a midpoint. Is this entire level just a, just a straight-ahead auto-scroll level? No, there's that here. I can't go above. So the secret exit's not beyond there. more auto scroll which is totally fine I but it's fine but it just takes a million years when I have to try to find a secret exit in this level um, and I haven't yeah I haven't seen anything just go ahead and use your cape to destroy the hopping blocks is there anything in any of these are they just you know do they just exist to be disguises for the hopping blocks. I suppose that makes sense. I cannot question this because that is just how the video game works. Aha! Hello there, secret exit! <laughs> I have no idea why I knew that would work. I have no idea. Um, I'm really surprised that uh, we managed to do that in the way we were supposed to. Okay, well, I suppose that's the secret exit, so let's go ahead and do the normal exit. This makes a lot more sense in my mind to do something like that. Don't go- ow. Yeah, just pass that pipe completely. And take a mobile home with you. This seems like the, uh... Can use it to destroy the, uh, the little blocks. So I think I'm gonna do that. Use it to destroy a little block. keep like exploring these thinking there might be something in one of them. I suppose there were coins in those previous blocks. Stay above if you can. Makes your life easier that way. Nuts to you, Charlie. Man, there we go. Well, that took up a ton of time. Of course, I'm going to have to, uh, kind of 
imagine what it'll be like after editing video length, so... Alright, well, having a cape makes this harder! Even though we didn't get the star, we did get the mushroom. Ah, nuts. I messed it up at the end. But, we, at least we'll be able to do what we wanted to do in this video, which is finish World 3. Number 3, Grinders Galore. Whoa, these are interesting graphics. I like the, uh, the mirror, uh, no mirrors, windows in the background. Where you can see outside the city. That's pretty neat. What the hell am I even doing? There was no way you were safe there. Why did you even try? You are a crazy person, Luigi. To be doing such things. Yeah, these are grinders everywhere, that's for sure. Um, even little grinders that... Whoa! That uh, move along platforms. So, so far the, uh, the yellow switch is coming in very useful. It's really helping us out in these difficult sections. Potentially difficult sections, should I say. Gosh darn it. So they're also, uh, what, fuzzies? Unless they're custom enemies, which, I mean, they could be. I've never seen this uh, this graphic set before, the, that graphic set before on those guys. So they very well could be custom enemies. But of this, I cannot be entirely sure. What about you, Luigi? Do you have anything to say about this, or are you too busy exploring? Into the door. Get myself some power-ups here. Of course, I don't like that they gave me power-ups immediately, because they meant it kind of tells me this is probably going to be somewhat difficult. Although, we are kind of getting through it really easily so far. Just keep on going fast, Luigi. There we go. Don't stop to think. That would be the mistake there, is stopping to think. Lava Lotuses and ba and Bowser Statues. I can live without this. The Ninjis, on the other hand, you don't see Ninjis all that often. So I appreciate it when Ninjis exist. Whoa! That is kind of insane. But not impossible. I'm assuming those spikes are going to hurt me. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. We do get a power up pretty much immediately after. Can I, uh... Nope, I cannot. Which makes... freaking hell. Which makes sense. That I cannot, uh, kill off the, uh, the little grinders. God, you're gonna make my life really difficult, aren't you, Charlie? Please go away. I mean, there isn't an instance where baseball-throwing Charlies don't make your life a living hell. So just go away. And kind of maneuver my way through that. Go away. And then do the opposite here. Don't maneuver your way at all, just get hit. Jump on the ladder and get the power-ups, and then find the red door. I never think you make it this far. Defeating my minions and avoiding my blade traps? Okay, I should admit you're a stronger opponent, but not stronger than my Metal Blades of Doom. My name is Mercer, member of the Switchbusters. I'll end your journey with my blades. I'll tear you apart.
Oh no, he looks like a hedgehog. He looks kind of like Sonic. But at least I can just jump on him multiple times for him to take damage. Oh no! Shoot. Oh no, he's shooting... What the hell? Okay, so these are a little... something else. They go one direction and then they go back the other direction. How can my blades not slice your body? Well, looks like I should take my make my retreat. I'll be back. And there we go. Course clear. All right, what do we got next here? Interesting. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do one more level. Land of Giants. Yeah, we've got time to do another level. Point of advice. Everything is too big. All the question mark blocks spawn mushrooms everywhere. Hooray, we are in a we are in a super world. A super huge world. I've always been amused by this whole gimmick. I think it's pretty cool. Living in a world where apparently there is more oxygen, so the enemies and creatures can... Why did I jump on him? Can grow to spectacular size. This is utter fantastic town. I also really like the background. The background is really cool. Uh, I need to get whatever is in this block. Because it's a mushroom. That is what I shall do, is get mushrooms. Is there another power-up in here? Man, there's lots of power-ups in this level. I guess that's why they commented on it at the start. suppose that makes sense. Dang it, wait! Pay attention to what you're doing, okay? Now that was nonsense. Utter nonsense. Okay, so their hitboxes are kind of weird. Um, that's what I'm discovering here. Um, but I suppose we can get past that because it's a super fun level so far. I'm not really checking the pipes. I, mean, I don't know if I should be. Um, I mean, there's no there's no secret exit in this level, so I don't think it's really necessary. Ah! There we go. Yeah, is there something special in this block? It's a star. Look at that. I'll take a star. Makes this significantly easier. Oh no, I can't kill the uh, the big turtles by smashing them from underneath. Man, you are such an issue. I re all right. I really do not know how to deal with uh, the large Hammer Brothers. I do not really know, but now we have munchers. Yeah, the best way to deal with them is to just jump on them, like, as soon as you see them, so they don't get a chance to start firing hammers. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right there. So thank you for watching today's episode, I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I will see you guys next time when we start World 4... Uh, well, we did, we did just start World 4, but we're going to be doing more of World 4. <laughs> As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. It really does mean the world to me. I will see you guys next time.